equations. And I did these ones with uh, stranger bases on them, so ones that we might actually have to do a little bit of work to figure out. Uh, there's always an option of sort of doing a change of base formula on this, but I think I'm going to, uh, essentially I'm going to go through and derive the change of base so that way we can see it and then just calculate. So I'll do the first one by doing it like a power and then, or uh, translating into exponential in other words. So the first one here, I've got 3 to the power of 4, 3 to the power of 4 equals 5 to the x plus 1. What I did there was I did the exponent, changed the logarithmic equation into an exponential equation using that upward arrow. So 3 to the 4th is 81, and we have 5 to the x plus 1. So next we'll take a logarithm of both sides and say log 81, or ln of 81, equals ln of 5 to the power of x plus 1. According to uh, logarithm rule number 3, that exponent gets pulled out in front, so we'll get an ln of 81 equals an x plus 1 ln of 5. And now if I wish to isolate x, we'll divide both sides by the logarithm of 5. So ln 81 divided by ln of 5 is equal to x plus 1. So only one last step in order to isolate the x, we would subtract 1 from both sides, and it looks like x equals ln 81 over ln of 5 minus 1. And that would be the answer as an exact form. Okay, now let's do the second one in a slightly different way where we actually literally use the change of base rule that I call in class 4 star. Here we have a power on a logarithm. So right from the beginning, you can pull that power out in front and say x minus 2 multiplied by log base 5 of 18 equals to 3. Right? Now, if you wanted to start towards isolating the x, we would divide both sides by that logarithm, which would mean we would get x minus 2 equals 3 divided by log base 5 of 18. Then as a last step, you get x equals, we need to add 2 to both sides, so we get 3 over log base 5 of 18, and then we would add 2. So that would be the final answer in another version. Right? The advantage to the left one is that it's easier to stick into a calculator because we have the ln button. The advantage to the right one is that it took a, a couple less steps, right? a little bit less work in the background. So pause the video and see if you can do this next one on your own, log base 4 of 5 to the power of x plus 2. I'm going to do this one and get a decimal answer in addition to the approx or in to the exact answer this time, so you can check on a calculator because if you do it in a different way, you make it, might get something that looks different but could still be correct. Okay, so doing this one now manually, let's see, log base 4 of 5, I'm going to pull out that exponent and say x plus 2 equals log base 4 of uh, 5 and that's equal to 2, sorry, x plus 2 multiplied by log base 4 of 5 equals 2. Next, divide, so x plus 2 equals 2 over, now when I divide by that log base, I'm going to change that using my change of base formula so I can calculate this more easily when I move into a decimal form. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, so as I subtract 2, I'm going to end up getting an x over here, and on this side, because I'm dividing by this fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal and say 2 ln 4 over ln 5 subtracted by 2. So that would be an exact answer, and now I'm just going to grab a calculator so I can see what this exact answer is as an approximate decimal. 2 ln 4 divided by ln 5 minus 2, and to two decimal places I get negative 0 0.28, and that's rounded to two decimal places, negative 0 0.28.